A mother of four sitting in this west side home Sunday afternoon when in an instant a bullet flies through the wall and kills her. Now the family and friends are devastated, working to raise money for her funeral in a GoFundMe page where they write, Life is too short, and this unexpected departure has impacted us all. Investigators say a neighbor was cleaning a gun next door that appears to have accidentally discharged into Edelin's home. While this did happen on a Sunday, I want to show you something that's chilling. This is the home that was hit. If we pan right over here, you know what that is? That's Jeb Stewart Middle School, just a stone's throw away. The main thing that you don't want to do is have any ammunition in because that's first and foremost how mistakes can happen. I also talked to Rod Mills, a local firearms instructor, about mistakes gun owners can make when cleaning their weapon. He says sometimes it can be hard to tell if there's a round still in the chamber. There are times, so you want to make sure that you're in a well-lit area, okay? Sometimes bullets or the shell casing can actually take on the same uh, color as your barrel. So therefore, you want to double check. While Mills showed us examples with handguns, the weapon in this case was a semi-automatic rifle, but the general safety protocols remain the same, such as where to point it when cleaning. Mills says you should never point a gun at a wall or window. A safe direction does not mean pointing it at yourself. It doesn't mean pointing it at your buddy or your friend. It means pointing it either down or up or in a safe direction. One of the posters that is going on right outside the home dedicated to one of her four children. This, of course, devastating to the family out here. Um, I have been in touch with the state attorney's office about possible charges for the neighbor, um, whether or not discharging that firearm was, in fact, a crime or an accident. They say they're still looking into it. They don't have an answer yet. They are still looking into this investigation. We are live on the west side. Scott Johnson, Channel 4, The Local Station.